This is an incredible dramatic story, but it is also, I think, from a point of view of an artist, very fascinating exactly for that. The, uh, the idea to overcome lots of, uh, I mean, a personal tragedy, trying to put on a scene about mm. it. Was that the, for you as an artist, as a director, especially for the way you make your own films, mm -hmm. the thing that attracted you? Oh, very much so. I, 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 was, uh, I was taken with this idea that art has this power to heal and uh, artistic expression has this power to help us overcome um, the pain in our life. And that's what I thought was sort of the essence of this story. Was it difficult to, to, to create all these um, action figures? Because, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I was incredibly fascinated by all of them, the perfect. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Well, the, the, the creating the dolls and bringing the dolls to life was the, you know, the key thing that we had to get right. So we spent most of our time making sure that we we made them look uh, as perfect as we could and that they would cr capture the, the 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 true essence of the performance of the live action actors. When the actors were performing the dolls, they had to look and sound and feel just like the live action actor did. There are also so many layers about, I mean, specific in this time, like with Me Too movement, uh, the, an army of women will save the world, like yeah. the Mark is saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, uh, that was that was always I was always in in this in his real story, but it's more timely than ever because you know one of the under, underlying themes of the movie is this sort of um, uh, you know uh, female empowerment. And the women are his protectors and his guardians, uh, and also his savior. Um, and that was one of the you know themes of the movie that I really you know thought was important. There is a, such an element of Zemeckis' film, though, which is uh, I guess what it, it is wanted the the car. Oh yeah, the f oh yeah, the time machine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, that that's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's I a realized, new element, or it, it was in, in the. Well, no, I realized that when I came time to design a time machine, that you know, most people think a time machine looks like a flying car because of my early film, and so I thought so would Mark. So that's how he had to make it look. Oh, you met Mark personally. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He, has he seen the film? No, he's you've seen it before, and he sees it next week. So I'm, I'm nervous, but I think he's going to like it. Right. Do you think it is now, I mean, difficult to, to be on top of your game now that, you know, you, you, you've done so many films, you are kind of a living icon for so mm. many people? Yeah, um, I don't think about that, of course. I still think I haven't made my best film yet. And that would be? No, well, I haven't made it yet. Is that an I still haven't done my best work. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you you haven't explored yet? Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know where I'm going. That's a very nice attitude. <laughs> it means you you really want to learn every mm -hmm. every day. Every day, it's uh, it's always a good day when I learn one new thing. That's uh, I, I have to learn from that. <laughs> I, it has to be my philosophy as well. Okay, good. Can I just ask you where do you keep your Oscar? Oh, it's on the shelf in my office. Okay. <laughs>